Okay guys, welcome yeah. to the animation room on Drat Teamix for Trahackme. Now you know we have getting some information about this Active Directory, Rat Teamix, Firewall and other things. So now it's time to animation to Windows. There's an already here have Linux animation, but I actually have too much video at my YouTube channel to Linux animation. You can watch this. I don't want to waste your time because it's your time so important I think uh, in this video I'm just gonna show you Windows animation because we are actually doing Active Directory on the Red Teamings and Red Teamings is generally using for Windows alright let's go here we go or animation tools you can check it with this alright in this task we assume you access to CMD on the Microsoft Windows host you might have to gain it access exploiting vulnerability and getting shell or a reverse shell. You may also have installed it backdoor or set up SSL server and system exploit. In all cases, the command below requires CMD to run. In this task, we focus on animating Microsoft Windows hosts. For animating Microsoft Active Directory, you are included about animation Active Directory and know about the Windows Private Sec Arena. I have this video on my YouTube channel. You can watch it for looking for uh, pre privilege escalation for Windows. So, for getting this shell, you have to be come over uh, down and um, using it SSH the user on this IP address like here. And uh, I'm gonna use for password. Is already already is giving her there. I'm just gonna enter it. So it's giving us the shell of this Windows machine. So I think it's time to go up and try to and start for admiration. So the first of all we have to be needed. You know we are generally using for I'm gonna use CD back here and then do it one more time. So if you can check it, there's another video of Red Teamings. We are generally using system info command is over there. So I'm gonna use system info now like that. was really slow why just control C over there one okay yes here I'm gonna use now system info for gathering information about the system because gathering information is the most important things of cybersecurity. so if you can check it here there's an uh, which port and uh, using which ip address is using which windows directory is using of it and then for example boot device on the hard disk volume one you can check it like that patch file location is on the patch file dot system file and something like that all right we actually display this filter the uh, filtering displays with um, the check on this um, the lay of land video I think so you can check it for displaying this information with uh, system info but we are actually focused on now update using the information will give you how quickly system are being patched and updated so we have to be looking for the system which system are using uploading and then um, upgrading or something like that we have to be gathering information all of us so we have to be using here tablet make we got it before and I uh, say QFE gatherings for caption and um, description not like that you can check it so email it get expression so it's not working for what all right double make qfe get caption and then description like there you know, it's, it's email it get expression. All right, I'm actually be running my attack box here because it's recommend attack box. Maybe it's really too hardening to my on my Linux. I'm gonna try this, but 
as over there we can use get wqfe like that get caption and description is over there all right let me try on this and then um, continue video all right guys why uh, we are getting this error we have to be using cmd here we are on the if you can check it here we are on the powershell let me go cmd is like that and then um, come over there so i think it's right time to run wmake and um, qfe get caption and um, description like that all right cool it's giving us the description for it and um, they are using for upgrading microsoft for example let me couple link address then go there and open it and you can check it like that and then this is our upgrading for couplet for example and you can check which application is upgrading on this windows machine server so all right cool let me go there my windows machine and say not start here for starting network and then say here Double make one more time. Say product get name and um, version, and I'm looking for render. Yeah, like that. So it's giving us, if you are only interested in installed apps, you can use this. If you run this command and attach virtual machine, you will get something similar to following output like that. So it, it's, I think, giving us the, which application is running on and install it on this Windows machine server. And then um, how is it working, which one is upgrading, which one is updating or something like that. For example, our Microsoft Visual C++, this is really important file because of you know learning or using of the virtual box you know about it if you are using virtual machine but this is my cal linux it's not virtual but if you are using virtual machine on your computer you have to be install it so it's really cool to idea because we got to install it on the server and i'm thinking about that maybe it's using the virtual box or something like that the application know about it so that's real cool all right we are now waiting for the getting it but it's it will be take time for us uh, for yeah it's really take time too much why i have no idea because maybe it's we are using virtual windows machine here and it's gathering for us to give us the different things we have to be know about it all right there's an actual split view i actually want to be terminated All right, this is for what? This is for system. It's time. It's time to go for users. It's over there. So it's giving us like this idea. And if you want to be check it so with systems, how can we are gathering information and um, enumeration? Go for privilege escalation. You have to be save it on your nodes. So this is a waste of your time. Um, we are not. We are just focus it on system here now it's time to go most important things this is users because it's users is so specific specific idea on this users how can we use animation and privilege escalation so i'm gonna say cls here and just say who am i now now i am rat win anim that user all right cool and i'm just running here who am i slash preview it's giving us how can we are using privilege escalation types is over there but the, the another important thing is we have to know about it you have to be gathering animation and uh, getting privilege escalation here you have to be used first of all who am i groups is over there like that and then um, you have to be checked for anti-authority administrator yep 
There is an built-in administrator is over there. That means our this one is really important for us. Another things you have to be check it for anti-authority because anti-authority means our like administrator and come over there looking for anti-authority local account is over there. So so we have to be using like there who am I that groups is giving us some things. The another things we have to be check it for the users just saying at user over there. So it's giving us the which user on this machine is running on. There's an administrator and default account chain and then random user and um, ghost Peter strategy this is an old user for us on this system and on this windows machine running on the server and um, we have to be checked for like that net local group that local group you have to be you know about it it's very important for us because it's giving us to uh, giving us like that right but we have no jobs for it we have to be just at the net local group administrators because we have to be escalation privilege but how can be our escalation privilege we have to be got the at uh, roots and root is equal to windows machine administrator so that means that we have to be look at here administrators let me go at this net local group admin administrator is over there the administrator peter stridges user the comments complete successfully that means that we can use this on this uh, user on this windows host machine we can use for it the escalation privilege all right let me go there and um, for example net accounts is giving us some things but we are now focused on the networking how can we are looking for all right for example in your Linux machine you can say if i have config for get your ip address but on this windows machine you have to be cha changing with ip config is over there it gives your ip address is over there and then your ip wolf 6 i address is over there you can check it and the subnet mask and default gateway is over there so it's really cool but another things on windows machine we can use net start to get various information such as which ports are system listening on the net start is for netcat on Linux and net start on windows machine and then we can check it for the listening ports which connection are active and who is using them in this example we use this options dash a to display all listening ports and dash b lets us find the binary involved connection dash n use it to avoid resolving ip and then finally dash o display process as id okay let me go file new tab here for example you are listening here in dash and cat dash n vlp and that means our on the windows machine you have to be changing with netstat dash a b and o like that yeah that's that is now recognized okay like that you can check it let me waiting for ending it and um, show you how can we're working on it all right here we go Actually, we got it before. I'm going to show you how can we use netstat and erp-a, but it's, it's really a cool idea. We can use it to, to before do this. All right, if we can scroll up like that. Yep. There is no ports. Um, yep. For example, in these ports, they are using dns.exe on this TCP port which this IP vol 6 and then listening on the 1812 port it's really simple all right then other things we have to be look at is over there just look at go up and then looking for it but you don't have to waste your time on this MPT IP vol 6 addresses just go scroll down slowly and look it for if there's any information for us for example is on there udp connect is using this port and um, cannot open ownership information for example you have to be check it for this port and this port and this port is over there so let me scroll down slowly again and looking for the another port is using on the server all right 
This and I'm the last one is equal this port and I'm using the IPv6 and then using this port. All right, let me go answer the question below. What is full operation system name? You have to be doing it. Just come on your Windows machine and CLS here. Just say system information like that. It's really slow why I have no idea actually all right let me get this so what is operating system name you can check it on this like let me go scroll down and it's here operation name is Microsoft Windows Server 2019 data data center and operation version is equal to 10.0.70.76.3 is over there so we have to be checking for how many hotfixes are installed on the Microsoft Windows services. Let me go scroll up and now how come we are getting? Just looking for it. How come we are looking for it? Am I... Alright, let me copy this and go for chat GPT. Not like that. Uh, which command? I use double me you think yeah be all right I have no as for this question with manually I generally use a chat GPT on my cyber security career and I recommend for you just copy this and go your system is over there just paste it paste it and um, waiting for two gatherings information so let me waiting for it the another question what is lowest TCP port on the listening system you have to be using NAS that we got it before if you are remember it now we are waiting for this Dublin mic gathering information for hot fixes or installed on this Microsoft Windows server Yep, there's an um, 30 installed server on the server. Guys, you just have to. How can you use the Chat GPT? Because Chat GPT is really cool on the cybersecurity. So, what is lowest TCP? We have to be doing it with NASDAQ dash A B and O. So, let me control C it. Because the lowest TCP is the up, let me go up. Yep, here we go. Yep, is over there, and um, they are using TCP, and um, the address is 22, and this answer is equal to 22. What is name of the program listening on that port? Let me using SSHD.exe. Guys, we are generally using animation windows system and it's really cool i love animation windows and i thinking about the explained details okay so now it's time to go dns smb and snmp protocol to solve it all right cool let me go down as we cover animation it's good idea to touch dns smb and snmp we are all familiar with domain name system queries where you can look up A and um, for A, C name, TXT records, among others. If you want to brush up on your DNS knowledge, we suggest your DNS in detail room on TryHackMe, but I got before I remember it. Yes, it's really cool. You can check it, DNS details. And um, only the way to DNS sound transfer the DIG command 
If you want to learn about the IG similar commands, we are checking the password recognize. We got the password recognize before. Depending on DNS server configuration, DNS zone transfer might be restricted. If it's not restricted, it should be achievable using DIG text or something like that. You can use it. So, for gathering information SMB, we have to be using share for SNMP using for this. So, all right, let me go for answer the question. Knowing that domain's name of Microsoft Windows Server of I, this IP address is redteam.tryhackme, use the IG carry the domain transfer, what is flagged to get it records. So let me go there and um, time to run here CLS and say DIG-T. So we have to be looking for XAXVR. For example, I'm going to try this and the um, domain name is over there or red team dot try hack me not like that oh my god red team dot try hack me and then what's next we have to check it for dns server and um, dns server is um i think is equal this let me copy this and um, run on this command here. DIG is not recognized because we have to be checking PowerShell, I think, right? Or not? Why is not DIG dash T is not running here? All right, let me go there and um, add here at the internal external command April batch file. Really? All right, let me go PowerShell. It's over there. And um, not like that. DIG is not recognized as the name of CMD LED function. All right, let me say DIG T, for example. Now it's not running. Why is it not running? Oh, oh, okay. All right, let me try this. What is name of shared of SMPP protocol track me? For SNB, we have to be saying CMD gum over there and say just net share like that and it's giving us the flag but for SNMP here we have to be I think if you want install SMP or your local Linux book consider the following commands we have to be local conference on the Linux animation and this is for Linux animation oh okay all right, I don't want to be using Linux animation here. So let me go there. More tools for Windows. You can read is all of things is over there. And then you can use process hacker and then goes back. Process hacker is really, really good. I generally use it on my Windows machine. I have the, any, any computer and then I use process hacker. You can use it and then come over there for conclusion. It's giving us the Windows command and then Linux command. This is on the Windows command. We have to be know about it. System info, who am I? Nets, .net, user, net, local group. And the add here, the administrator. And arp a giving us the port. All right, guys. This is of the end of the video. And um, we have actually just doing here Windows animation. And it's really cool video. I like it. And um, I like this room too much.